The year is 2014. My old friend gave me Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2 for the Xbox during Christmas. It was around a few months later until I decided to actually play the video game because what else was I going to do? Not play it. I used my dad's Xbox to play the game and my first thoughts when playing were, eh, this game isn't too bad I guess. And that right there is when I poured my whole rest of my afternoon, night, and following week into that game. To give myself some credit, it was after my fourth grade year of school, also I was going to be in the summer anyway, there wasn't really going to be anything to do during that, so what else can I do but play my dad's Xbox? I never really played many shooter games during that time. I only played the Nintendo Wii back then, so the precision I got from any game was the Ninja Star minigame on Kirby's Return to Dreamland. I'm not joking. Despite me doing terrible at the video game, this was actually the first time I interacted with people online, which changed my whole view on video games and even visually seeing a different society of people. That is a weird way to describe the internet, huh? Many of the first few friends I had on Xbox were from Garden Warfare, and well, since I was 9 years old at the time, you could imagine what I sounded like. Well, a squeaker. At that time, I wasn't really pleasant to be around because I sounded like Spongebob with his boots on, so yeah, they blocked me. I don't exactly remember, but I do know that there was a problem that happened and he used that as an excuse to stop being friends with me, I guess. I took it kinda bad, but honestly, looking back, I can tell why they did that. I was a toddler with more power than what I should have. But my dumbass still pressed on to find even more friends through Garden Warfare 2, and eventually found my first legit friend through Xbox. I found this guy through a friend of a friend. His name, well, I call him Tuna. Tuna constantly invited me to Garden Warfare 2 and eventually into other games outside of Plants vs. Zombies. I'm also still friends with him today, which is very lucky on his part because I blocked this guy four times and is still talking to me somehow. <laughs> This guy kept inviting me so much to where I had to set my profile to do not disturb or offline just so I could play a game in peace. I know I make it sound like it's annoying. Another friend I met through the game is called Quick Joey. Uh, I mean the wife eater. Uh, I mean Shown Axis. Uh, I mean Jacob. You get the idea. Bro went through four different names, so I'll call him Quick Joey. I met him through a random match in Turf Takeover, we were both scientists and we both were pocketing each other. That was it. He invited me to a party and he is a friend I talk to a lot of the time now, on Xbox. Me, Tuna, and Quick Joey still play Garden Warfare even today. Actually, the gameplay in the background is from Quick Joey and Tuna on their old duo channel called Tuna and Cosmo. Okay, that's, that's five names now. So now, I'll put these people on so you can hear what they have to say. Yo, how's it going guys? Can you introduce yourself to the viewers? Hi, my name's Tuna. I play Gorn for two. Um... Mm-hmm. What is up, my homies? It is, um... You know, Quick Joey, aka The Wife Eater, aka Shown Axis, or Jacob Darnell. Um... I've known MBK for quite a while. So, you ask me a few questions and I'm here to answer them. Alright, for my first question, what is your favorite Plants vs. Zombies character on Garden Warfare 2? Alright, so let me flip the questions here. My favorite character is the Baseball Star. My favorite character would be Moto X Star. I love how stupid the character is and how bad he is, so that's what makes it fun. What's your typical play style in the game? Well, you see, I personally love to be a ball. My playstyle? I'm usually stupidly aggressive. I have no care for my team. Were there any really dumb moments that you've had in the game? To make this nice and short, one time I was playing pea shooter, and um, instead of saying, you know, blast radius or, 
you know, any other um, terminology, um, I said blow area. There's a stupidly high amount of dumb moments in Garden Warfare 2, so I'd say a good one would be putting a dummy into space. So, uh, why did you give up on the Tune in Cosmo YouTube channel? Tune in Cosmo YouTube channel. Well, I bet literally no one who's watching this knows what the fuck that is. But, um, I didn't. I just don't want to do it without Jacob because it's, it's really Jacob who doesn't want to do it. Um, and, you know, I would continue it alone. But... I suck ass. I got bored. So we decided to just kind of quit. Why is the game fun for you still after for so many years? Well, it's because all of the friends that I have, Jacob, NBK, all of them that play this game, I have so much fun playing with them. Nah, fuck that. How is the game still fun for me? The game is completely random. There's never really a time where you go in and what you say you're going to do is what you're going to do. So the randomness is what keeps it fun. Where do you think you would be without this game? Where would I be without this game? Probably in a ditch dead if I had to assume. I wouldn't bet MBK or Tuna. So my online life would be a lot more different not knowing these people. Any last words before we end it off here? Um... There's nothing else for me to really add on, um, except congratulations, MBK. Um, you really do deserve it. You put a lot of effort into that last video. Um, very good video. You can still improve. There's a lot of improving you can do. That last video was very good, though, for your first time making a legit video. Um, and thank you, to everyone who's watching. Any last words? Um, we need the gritty in the Fortnite item shop. So yeah, those are the friends that I talked to and have fun with for the last six years. Damn, time just disappeared. Now, I know the game in its current state is very much dead. I was going to talk about why this game is dying, but enough videos already discuss this. It's not Garden Warfare specifically that's dying, it's just EA using this franchise as their ultimate cash cow. Unlike Mixels, I was never really interactive on the PvZ community, I just played the games with my friends and that was it. But part of me feels really bad for the people in the community because I wish companies would see that their games can change people and make lives so much more different, and maybe even for the better. PopCap will still try to make plans for Sazami's games, but to me they will never make me feel the same way these games did. But whichever way you look at this, it did change my entire life. Alright, time for the end card. Uh, thank you everyone that watched the last video. Uh, I never would have ever assumed that a Mixels video would get that high amount of views. Honestly, it could even get higher uh, by the time this video gets out. Right now it's at like almost 240k, I think, which is just crazy to me. I think a Mixels video getting that high if it wasn't from Cartoon Network or Lego it was almost unheard of which is just insane to me so thanks again uh, especially all the subscribers all the comments I read a lot of them I, I can't even read all of them there's too many uh, just thanks